All right, welcome back, YouTube. Uh, this is Tessatronics, uh, and I got some dueling Tesla coils here. I just wanted to demonstrate uh, some unique properties uh, of these particular Tesla coils. Uh, for one, I've had them running for a good two hours now. Uh, this particular one right here is actually being powered off one of my laptop chargers, the 90 water. Uh, it's not using anywhere near the whole, the whole 90 watts, not even close. It's all about uh, the peak voltage. Uh, this guy is pretty cool to the touch. Um, this one is being powered off of this transformer right here. This is 12 volts at 12 volts, and I, I want to say 2 or 3 amps. No, no, 15 volts DC at 1 amp. Um, you can see we're getting similar results from this one as we are this one. So this one's 19.5 volts at 7 amps and this one is 15 volts at 1 amp. You can see there you know this one obviously is power more powerful but I believe it's from the but the bump in voltage not necessarily the the current. Uh, the current has very little impact in this circuit as I've demonstrated earlier in earlier videos uh, that this, these things will actually run off a 9 volt battery um, but uh, for a steady reliable source these, these uh, any kind of transformer like the uh, uh, like this uh, will run these pretty good so as you can see now the other neat thing is it's Christmas time so I have my LED lights the string as you can see that these are plugged into anything um, and they glow pretty good from my hand from the coil I believe this is how many are in here uh, it's either 50 or 70 and then this other string as well these are also an LED string and they'll actually both simultaneously glow so I can take all these guys put them in my hand like that and they'll all start glowing together so this is no joke guys um, these circuits put out a lot of cool clean energy and they, they're, they're fairly reliable Honestly, I've been playing around with these since I built them in the past couple months. Uh, I haven't blown a single transistor. None of that. I haven't fried any circuit boards. And you can keep loading this thing down. You know, I'm just like piling light bulbs and LEDs. And, you know, it does load out eventually. Eventually, it'll stop. But, you know, I, I'm holding a lot of light in my hand right now. And and this one's coming on too like I'm not even sure you know how how many lights this is right now I know that this one of these two strings is 50 and the other one's 70 and then I have my two CFLs here this is one of those 13 waters and this is that 24 water or 27 water whatever it was so this puts out a lot of light um, the neat thing is as far as this LED thing is concerned uh, the whole string doesn't have to be close to it, so if I open this string out, I spread it out. I can actually just run it all the way across. Like as long as this end over here is close to it, the rest of them will light up. Let me see if I can kick this other light off. So this is over here. Okay. They all light up as soon as this gets close enough for it to resonate, unless I just knock the power up. Yep. Let me turn that back on. Yeah, 19.5 19 volts, this guy starts screaming. You get, you get some nice plasma off the wand here. I mean, this one too gets a decent amount of plasma. You can actually see it. This one's. This one's tuned better though. This one's got the better torrid on it. But it's also getting about four or five more volts. Open open voltage on this laptop charger is probably over 20 volts. Okay. So 
Oh, anyway, back to this thing. Look at that. So I got these bulbs way over here. And I gotta lit up because I'm close to it like this. So I can just drape that over the chair there and that little old light up. And just because this is close to this, so let me double check to make sure everything's in the frame there. Yep. Yep, that looks good though. So it was really neat. I was actually thinking about putting one of these in this down the center of my Christmas tree and lighting it up uh, just for the hell of it. But, eh. I, I did put it next to the tree and they do actually start to glow. Maybe I'll make that into the next video of the Tesla Power Christmas tree uh, just for the hell of it. But, check it out. That's a lot of, that's a lot of lights. Now it's probably being powered off both coils. So... It's actually a decent amount of light. Okay. Alright, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, I'll come back to you with more videos.